Hey everyone, welcome back. So sorry that it's been a little while. The store has been like a little bit crazy the last little bit. March break really did us in. Holy smokes. Um, also so sorry we haven't been able to do a live recently. Hopefully we're able to get back to those pretty soon. It really just depends on how busy we stay and all that good stuff. But hey, first video back, I have something really, really interesting for you guys. So a long, long time ago when we did the Disney puzzle, you guys had asked quite a few times actually what my unicorn puzzle was. What puzzle, if I could have any other puzzle in the world, did I really, really want? And at the time, my answer was the 9,000 piece Ravensburger astrology puzzle. And that's not wrong. I do really, really want that puzzle. But that was one of those things, sometimes when I'm on the spot, I just say the first thing that comes to mind. And I kind of had to think about it, and I, like, I took the time to think about it and chew on it after a while, and I kind of came to a different conclusion, that there is actually a puzzle, two puzzles, in fact, that I want more than that one, because they kind of hold a special place in my heart. There's something that I've had for a really long time, not even really knowing what I've had to start. Um, and then, you know, come to do a little bit more research and all that, you don't really realize that certain puzzles are rare until you look into them sometimes. So, back in the day when we first started this channel a long time ago, I put together this wonderful fire dragon puzzle for you guys. Um, that's an old, old, old video. If you want to go see it, check it out. It's still around and all that good stuff. Um, but this puzzle is actually in the shape of this fire dragon and uh you know you probably see it for the most part at least part of it behind me all the time when we're recording and all that good stuff you're used to that it's like a fixture it's part of our thing um this is actually a rare puzzle now i have had the glued copy a really long time since i was like a little little kid um same brand fx schmidt and all that you can find it occasionally i believe under different brands this brand doesn't technically exist anymore. They do and they don't. A lot of their stuff is out of print. They were absorbed by Ravensburger back, actually, I think the year I was born, 96. Uh, so they're not even really a real company anymore. And this puzzle is out of print. Now, I did not know that being like 9 or 10 years old. Um, and I liked that puzzle very much. I made the foolish decision as a child to glue it. Yet another reason I will never glue another puzzle. Um, and I actually went on the hunt, as I'm still on the hunt for some of my other glued puzzles, and replaced this guy. Now at the time, I spent about 50 bucks Canadian to replace this. And that, I, I thought that was high. That was high for a puzzle back then. That was before they were general, like they were still around $20, but you could sometimes find them for under at the time. So that was very high. And I, like, at the time, I was like, that's a lot of money, but I really want this puzzle again, so I'm willing to pay it. And this is the replacement copy. I have kept this. I've done it many times. I've, uh, I've looked after this one. I'm, I'm not letting this one go. I did a lot to replace this one. I'm not letting it go. But, fun fact, there are actually two other puzzles in this series as well that are even more rare than the Fire Dragon. So although this one is rare, it's a bit of a common rare. If you Google it, you can find it for sale on things like on places like eBay and all Amazon sometimes and all that. Um, it's expensive, but it's not break the bank expensive. You're going to pay more for it than your average puzzle. But again, it's kind of a common rare. There's quite a few listings for it. You don't have to dig too deep to find it. However, the ice dragon in the series, same shape by the same artist, Sally J. Smith rarer <laughs> goes for a little bit more money there's only a couple listings on ebay for it they're about a hundred bucks american uh plus you know the shipping ink version and all that for canadians so boo expensive that one has been on my list for some time there was a decent listing on ebay a long time ago of a factory sealed one they unfortunately did not ship to canada so I had to wait and wait and wait. And I also kind of didn't really want to spend close to 150 bucks on a puzzle because, ouch, <clears throat> you know, as much as I want it, <laughs> oh, holy crap, expensive. Um, so the Ice Dragon one, super pretty, same art style and all that good stuff. Um, the Earth Dragon in the series, ironically printed way later. Like it was 2008, I think that one was made. Like it's um, so... These ones are older, the Earth Dragon is newer. 
Um, and somehow, <laughs> or other, although they're all out of print, that one is more rare. And that one's by a different artist, by some guy named Michael. I don't like the art as much, so you can kind of see it up in that corner there. I don't like the art as much. It's just not the same as the other two. It's a little bit juvenile and all that. I mean, like there's aspects of it I like. I like the fantasy. I like that they stuck with the shape. I don't know why they departed from using this artist. I wonder if she was just too busy at the time, maybe. Um, but yeah, as much as I don't like the art as much, I will do whatever it takes to add that to my collection. So seriously, if you guys ever see a listing for that, I know it's going to be, it's going to ex be expensive. It's going to be real expensive. Um, but I want to add that to my collection and I cannot find that for sale anywhere at any price. I don't know if it even exists anymore. That's like Karen Puzzle's Little Boy Blue Come Home. That is like my unicorn rare find puzzle. I don't just have the fire dragon anymore. Da, 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 da. I found the ice dragon! So this is my super rare unicorn puzzle. I did not find the earth dragon, don't get excited. Um, I really do not have any idea how to find that. It's not on any used li puzzle listing or anything. I think I'm just gonna have to take a shot in the dark in thrift stores sometimes. Or hey, if it ever pops up on eBay, like I said. But I found the ice dragon. There are there were a couple listings on eBay. Like I said, the one that doesn't ship to Canada is still there. Um, but this one did ship to Canada. And I actually got a bit of a better price on it. Now, that being said, the collector in me is a little bit sad. Because this puzzle is out of print. It is rare. It is expensive, like any collectible should be. The fire dragon was opened when I got it. This is factory sealed. I almost wanted to buy two copies. I almost, I, I really wish I could have. Because this is factory sealed. And it's a collectible. And I know what happens with collectibles as soon as you open them. <laughs> well, it goes like that. But I didn't, I'm, it's not like I'm ever going to resell this. I'm not. I bought it because I wanted it. And I wanted to complete the series and have my unicorn puzzle. Which is here! Hooray! Um, I'm going to have a really hard time opening this. But I am. For our next video, next week, I will open this and do it because as sad as the collector in me is, I really want to do this puzzle so badly. I wanted to do it for years. I'm not gluing this one. I'm not. No, this is, no one can no one say that because I'm not Let's doing that. Second one. No. <laughs> if I bought a second one, this one would stay sealed and then I would, you know, do that one and then hey, you know, there's still a factory sealed one out there because that's really rare. On top of the fact that it's a rare puzzle, it's rare the fact that it's factory sealed. Um so it's by the same artist, Sally J. Smith, and all that. And you can kind of see the similarities in the art style. Same incredible detail, same shape. I mean, again, the Earth Dragon one is the same shape, but the artwork is very clearly different. Um, and yeah, I now have a, well, <laughs> a kind of complete series, if you think about it. I have every puzzle that this artist did for the Dragon series. So... That's pretty cool. All right, we'll give you guys a quick close-up cam of both puzzles. Do, 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 do. So that's the fire dragon that you guys have seen before and see all the time. So it is actually in the shape of the dragon. Now, I think the fire dragon personally has a lot more color to it, although it's a lot of reds and oranges and all that. Look at this ice dragon. That is like all white and blue. That's going to be interesting. And the I find the outer edge isn't quite as defined as with the fire dragon because you get a lot of clear blue. Um, so it's got really, really intricate detail in this one. Like I think they actually upped their game on it, personally. And yeah, exact same shape, exact same size. I bet you anything it's got the exact same piece cut. Like if I, if I did the fire dragon and then placed the ice dragon on top of it, I would almost bet that they're the exact same cut. Um, but hey, it's not open and I'm not opening it today. I'm not quite prepared for that yet. So I can't promise you that just yet. That's just my theory. All right, you guys. Oh. So that is my story of how I now have two rare collectible puzzles. If my house ever burns down, God forbid, or something horrible like that, and these burn, I better burn with them, because <laughs> that was a lot of <laughs> this. I, I'm not letting this series go. This is, a, this is a treasure. These are both treasures. So if you ever find the Earth Dragon one, let 
me know because <laughs> I, w- I will buy it. <laughs> I don't care where it's from. I hope it ships to Canada because that's always a problem too. Um, but yeah, for today, the series is complete. Join us next week. For the opening of a rare puzzle. I know the collector and some people is probably just as sad as me. There's probably some people out there screaming, don't do it. I'm sorry. I have to. I have to know what's inside this box. There could be razor blades in this box and they could have tricked me. I don't know. They might own a shrink wrapper. I really doubt it. But hey, you know, again, I got to open this thing. All right, you guys. Thank you all for watching. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you later.